So today we're at Manchester, we're heading off the Heathrow. We're here at Terminal 1, it's a bit of a grey, miserable day outside. Um, but we're going with British Airways down there in club, so we'll see how that goes. Manchester Terminal 1 is a pretty grim place when you first go in. Once you're in the lift, the very noisy lift, and get upstairs to departures though, things brighten up a lot. We headed for Fast Track Security. When we got there, the guy on the entrance said it was for business class passengers and not Club Europe, as they'd never heard of that. After a bit of a chat, he let us through anyway, which saved us a good amount of time in the process. And within a few minutes, we were done with security and heading off to the escape lounge. The escape lounge is what British Airways are using whilst Terminal 3 is all but closed, even though the flights still depart from there. It was still morning time, so there was a full English breakfast buffet available. I'd already enjoyed one earlier in the morning, so I gave it a miss and had a nice cup of tea or two. All in all, it's pretty quiet at Manchester Airport. Before we knew it, our plane was at the gate over in the closed Terminal 3, and we set off for a hike following the signs for British Airways. Eventually, we made it to the deserted Terminal 3, where we found the rest of the passengers who'd be joining us on the short hop down to London. Hello. So, on the plane, it's the British Airways A321, and we managed to get the front row, which is very nice. That's comfortable. Um, open for a good flight. So. off from uh, Manchester we're on our way down to Heathrow and pretty much as the plane's still going up they're out with the trolleys because it's that short a flight it's only about 30 minutes um, but I've declined food I'm going for a drink so I think um, a champagne is, uh, is the order of the day it's after 12 o'clock obviously so we'll have a champagne uh, and then maybe have some more to get to Heathrow. Ooh, talk of the devil, drinks are here. And as if by magic, champagne and nuts appear. Beautiful. Gonna enjoy this. Cheers. Ooh, that wakes you up. What are you laughing at? Anyway, I enjoy it, that's the main thing. And it was checking it down in Manchester, it's starting to clear up outside now. I can see a bit of the M6. I think it is. So, not long to go, we'll be down at Heathrow. Hope it stays sunny there. I do like sunny days. Cloudy days are miserable. I like sun. I like it bright and clear. For one thing I can see a bit more, I'm not as blind when it's sunny. There you go. Anyway, I'm 
dig into his champagne. Um, yeah, and enjoy the rest of the trip. I was, I was thinking on these, on these short flights, like 30 minutes, which it is, from Manchester to Heathrow, that's the other way around. And they try and do like a meal and drinks and all that sort of stuff in business. And the problem is, I mean, when we were on the last Manchester, when we were going to Manchester, my meal landed on my tray because we're a bit further back. And basically as it landed, the captain said 10 minutes to landing. And you're thinking, geez, yeah, you just don't get a chance to eat it, do you? So there must be, you know, a different way they could do it. Maybe, maybe make them a bit longer so they fly out around Ireland or something <coughs> and come in the other side of uh, France, taking the, the Isle of Wight as you go across. That'd be an idea, wouldn't it? I might put that forward. I reckon I could run an airline. Um, but yeah, so anyway, here we are. We're just on our way to Heathrow. It's cloudy everywhere. I thought it was supposed to be nice today. It's nice up here, obviously, but well, I'm not going to see much of outside today anyway. So yeah, here we go. We'll get to Heathrow. Um, I might sample the lounge at Heathrow. That'd be nice. I do like the British Airways lounge at Heathrow. Whether they changed over the past year and a half or whatever it is, um, I think they have. So it'll be interesting to see how they are because I haven't been in one of them for a long time. Went to the Edinburgh one, that was all right. Uh, but just a bit weird with the breakfast. But yeah, we'll see what Heathrow's like. Hopefully it'll be nice and might have another champagne once we get there. Anyway, off we go. After a short stack, while they changed the runways over at Heathrow, not because it was busy, we dropped below the very low clouds, gave Concord a little wave as we passed by and landed. All in all, it was a comfortable flight. We left on time. We had a great crew on board. Just what you'd expect from a short hop in BA Club Europe. <sighs> Many thanks for coming along with me today. If you enjoyed the video, why not subscribe? And I'll see you on the next one. See ya.